Testing. Testing. Uh, hold up. Oh, fuck. Resident Evil. I felt like, uh, this shit was a little too loud last time. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. We'll see. Hello, people. Welcome back to the Resident Evil Co Veronica playthrough. I'm your host, Chad Marco. Last time we had just got control of Chris. Just give me a second here. I'm just dealing with a couple. Make sure everything is right. I'm, and now I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> ah. That was great. Let me just give, give me a second here. Make sure everything is. Uh, I swear, man, this this new setup I got is awesome. I got me a legit gaming chair, not the high end model, <laughs> but still, is it's. I love this new chair. This mic stand, it's it's think shit is really coming along for me. <laughs> as far as like my uh, my lab, so to speak. So now we finally have control of Chris. Not that there's anything wrong with Claire, to be fair. I don't really have an issue with most friends. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I remember. So yeah, we share all our all our all our <laughs> all our items. <laughs> Let me just make sure. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. Oh shit. I'm so happy because I just recently figured out how to stream, how to live stream. At least on YouTube. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. Game plan time. So I'm not gonna try to fight this worm right now, but I'm definitely gonna go grab those herbs. Oh shit, how do I run? Okay, it's been a while. I haven't played this game in like over a week. Oh, oh, grab it, grab it, grab it. They put those there to get to this, like to get you killed too. I already know that. Oh shit, grab it, grab it, grab it. But who cares? We got we got plenty of healing items anyway, so I can afford to take a bump or two. Oh, damn, buddy. Okay. Is that it? Okay. I wonder if if Chris has more HP than Claire. If I remember correctly, Oh shit, I gotta wait a while. If I remember correctly in um Resident Evil 1 in particular, Chris had more HP than Jill. And in return, Jill got more inventory space. This is fine. Everything is fine. Oh damn, he got me good that time. I'm not too worried about that. We got so many healing items. I'm not going to stress about it for a little while. I'm not going to be too reckless, but. I can afford to, to take a few hits. So I'm, I'm really into, I'm really into boxing. Well, not really, but I'm into boxing. I, I watch boxing. You know, I watched all kind of fights. Oh, Lord, he really got me there. Oh, shit. Is that the... Is that that guy? Oh, shit. 
I watch fights from all the different era, the eras, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Now it might not be him. Looks like this is just the way that these new zombie models look. But they look like that uh, that's Hispanic guy that Claire ran into in the beginning of the game. But I was watching an old boxing match between Ray Boom Boom Mancini and some Korean guy. I forgot his name is Kim. I hate to butcher his name like this, but it was like Kim Duk Hoon or something like. I forgot exactly how you pronounce it. It's but he was a Korean boxer. And what's interesting about that fight and tragic as well is the Korean fighter he died. He died as a result of that fight. He got knocked out, I think, in the 13th or 14th round. And he died four or five, I think maybe, what was it, three or five days later in the hospital. And it was a really big deal because that's the fight that made them change the rules of boxing they changed it so that championship fights no longer went to 15 rounds. That's the fight that made it so now we had like championship fights are 12 rounds instead of 15. And a standard fight is 10 rounds. But um I did I didn't know that. I didn't know that was the fight that sparked that change. That was the fight that made them change change the rules. I guess the idea was since he died in the 13th or 14th round. Then maybe that like they should limit it to twelve. I guess I guess that's the way they were looking at it. But to be fair, you could die in the first round. It, I mean, if we're being real, but I mean it's possible. But I guess since it's, it's never happened, people don't look at it that way. But you think about it, it could it could happen. You could die in the fifteenth, the twelfth, the first, the second. You know, but certainly it's more likely you'll die in the later rounds if you do die most people who have become who who uh suffered serious injuries during a boxing match it usually does happen in the later rounds but yeah that was the fight that that changed everything it was a, i hate to say it bro i hate to say it but that was a good ass fight too i hate to say that shit bro but that was one of the best fights I ever seen, bro. That was a good ass fight. Like that Korean, he fought his heart out. And Ray, man, he he's just a straight up warrior. I'm telling you, man, some of the best fights in boxing are when you just you get two just straight up fighters, like fighters who aren't very technical or defensive minded, just straight up just straight punchers bro i'm not saying they didn't have like the technique down but i love those fights when it's, it's just two guys going to war bro like uh arturo arturo Gotti versus uh mickey ward that's another example man just two guys going to fucking war i love those kind of fights man marvin Hagler versus tommy hearns Bobby Chacon versus Bazooka Limon. I love those kind of fights. Just all out war. It's, just, it's unfortunate that um, that guy had died, though. But part of what made that fight so good was like, Ray just said, fuck it. Like, I think it was like the 13th round. He, just, he came out. He was just swinging for the fences, bro. And then he knocked him out with just a 100% a, a powered up right. And that was it. Is this like a puzzle or something? Maybe you gotta open it in the right order. Let's try every combination. Okay. 
Let's try blue. Green. Red. Okay. Let's try red. Green. Blue. Okay, let's try green. Red. Blue. Okay, let's try green. <laughs> Blue. Red. Damn. Did I try this? That's strange. I wonder where the shotgun is at. So we have a planter containing blue herb. So they're probably trying to tell me that I can get poison here. Lava burns forest flows to sea forms the earth. Okay, red, blue, Wait, red, green, blue. Didn't I try that? I didn't connect. Didn't I try that? Red, green, blue. I didn't do red, green, blue. Bruh. Are you kidding? Dude, I, I, I'm gonna look back. I'm gonna look back at this shit. I cannot believe. I could have sworn I did like every co possible combination. Or maybe you just had this to look at that thing first. But damn, man, I could have sworn I looked at every, I did every possible combination. Oh well, as long as we, as long as we figure the shit out, <laughs> that's all that matters. Speaking of boxing, though, you guys remember Deontay Wilder got it. Oh, shit. The man with the golden gun. Is it real? Can I use it? Or is, is it just like a key item? A replica gun model after the Luger. It has nice decoration on it. It can't be used as a weapon. Unfortunate. We got plenty of ink ribbons. I'm doing great. You know, I like this game more now that I'm just Chris. Again, Claire wasn't an issue, but she always has Steve with her, so. <laughs> He's always cramping her style. But now I'm just big bad Chris. I'm just big bad manly Chris, so. But yeah, Deontay Wilder got his ass beat by. Got his ass beat by Tyson Fury. And there's been a lot of controversy after the fight as far as like Deontay accusing Tyson Fury of cheating, everything from having like objects in his gloves to claiming that. His trainer, Mark Breland, had poisoned his water or something. His suit was too heavy. All kinds of excuses and shit, man. Me, I'm just like, bro, you got your ass whooped. That's, you got, you know, you got your ass whooped. But I've been looking more into, into this whole, the, you know, all these accusations. And from what I can find, it, it's very unlikely that Mark Breland poisoned his water. Mark Breland was his his uh, his trainer. Quiet black man. <laughs> the quiet black dude who was always around. Oh shit. Oh, whoa, that actually spooked me.
man. Oh, I just realized I don't have the grenade launcher. Maybe that's why they made that boss so difficult. They made it so like you pretty much had to bring the grenade launcher with Claire, right? That was the idea, so that he wouldn't have it. Cause I just thought, oh, let me go get something strong. Wait, I don't have anything strong. Damn it. Damn. I could just shoot him. I guess. But I'm gonna avoid him. But yeah, it seems very unlikely that Mark Breland poisoned. Wait. Are they gone? Oh no, they're not. I wouldn't be that lucky. I could just like... I figured his AI wouldn't be too good. Hold up, but he... Man, he's so fucking tough. What? Are you serious? Nah, it's not even worth it. I'm, I'm better off really just... I'm better off really just uh, restarting. Yeah. Yeah, fuck this. Okay. <laughs> but it seems very unlikely that Mark... I mean, that's just... That's a ludicrous idea. So that's that's pretty much debunked, if you ask me. Is I seriously doubt that man. Why would he? Why would he poison his own fighter? Like he said, if you win, I win. So why would I? That doesn't make any sense. So that's out the window. But then there was the whole uh, egg weights in Tyson Fury's glove thing. In fact, now nah, let's go back to the the the, uh, the costume being too heavy. Even if that's true, that's your fault. So if that's again, throw that out. That's your fault. So whatever you, you know, you gotta take responsibility for that bullshit. Resident Evil. Then the egg weight thing. As far as anybody knows, like you can't like there's no there's nothing proven as far as like finding egg weights or anything like that. You know they go through a lot of. They go through a lot of tr trouble to check like the, the hand wraps and the gloves before the fight and all that. So that's that's very unlikely as well. But <laughs> something that actually does seem plausible um, is when you watch the fight. When you watch the fight, you can see um, when Tyson Fury is hitting Deontay Wilder. It's like he's hitting him at certain points with the wrist of the glove and not the actual like padded fist part of it. So the idea is that people think that Tyson Fury was putting his fist like like basically he was low, he was putting his fist, his actual fist, he was taking it out of the padded part of the glove. Oh damn. Oh shit, and putting it in the wrist portion of the glove. That way he would be able to hit Deontay with his bare fist instead of with the padded part of the glove. And when you look at certain when you look at certain frames of the fight, you can see that he's definitely hitting Deontay with the wrist of the glove and not the padded part of the glove. And so I, I, that's, that part is actually pretty interesting. <laughs> that part is actually pretty interesting when you think about it. What? Wait, what? What did I need? What needed a battery? I forgot. Wasn't it in here? Encoder overloaded. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Hold up. Give me a second here. That's just ridiculous. Why would my encoder be overloaded? Well, hopefully it's not too bad. I'll just go back and check it out. But encoder overloaded. 
That makes no sense. Why would it be an overloaded with this weak ass shit? Hold on, give me a second here. Let me just exit a couple things here. A little weak ass game like this should not should not be overloading my shit. It's like my CPU is getting weaker or something. It's so weird, but whatever. Okay, what needed the battery? But you can definitely see him hitting Deontay with the wrist of the glove during certain parts of the of the of the uh, fight. And the thing about it, what makes it even more interesting is that Tyson Fury has never been known as a heavy hitter. He's never been known as somebody that was that could just just knocking dudes out left and right. He's never been known as a fighter who could do that. And just the way he brutalized Deontay is is actually is is very strange when you look at his track record. Like he even against uh, Klitschko, he he didn't he wasn't able to just like brutalize him like that. He just outboxed him. There is a foul report. Enhanced anti-decay alloy. Although we plan to utilize the enhanced anti-decay alloy called Deploid to create the storage capsule of the new BOW, we have had to cancel the plan. This is primarily based upon the fact that despite its excellent resistance to all kinds of liquid, including strong acid, it easily dissolves when soaked with a mixture of the two chemicals, Clement A and Clement E. Due to the lethal nature of the new BOW, we cannot be too careful in choosing the material for their storage capsule. We have instead decided to use Deployed to create the plate portion of the Eagle plate, which, which shines in indigo blue. The A-type is used for gun maintenance and possesses no conspicuous characteristics. However, the E-type will change its color to blue at a certain temperature. It is an, old, an odd coincidence that the temperature is exactly the same as the date of completion of this training facility. Based upon our analysis of the E-Type, we believe that Clement possesses more features. As new information is learned, we will update this file. Alloy talk. But he was never known. Chemical warehouse. Tyson Fury was never known as like a heavy hitter. Some people even called him like pillow fisted. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up actually. Damn. You ain't got to do your boy like that. And now, all of a sudden, he's just straight up bullying Deontay Wilder. There was a friendly but naive king who wed a very nasty queen. Who is that? The king was loved, but the queen was feared. Chris sounds like the most generic survival horror game protagonist ever. Like, straight up. Alexia? No. She's already fully awake. Chris, oh little fishy, come see my hook. Chris, I'm sending some company to keep you entertained. Oh. Hunters. I better get a shotgun soon. Consider this a small welcoming gift from me. Enjoy. <laughs> what the hell is that little robot? God damn. I really need a shotgun ASAP. Because you can't, you cannot deal with a hunter with a handgun in any way. That's just a fucking death wish. I'm not saying Tyson Fury cheated. I'm, it's just, when you look into it, when you look, when you really look into it and look at all the evidence, like, this shit is actually pretty deep. I'm still on the side that Deontay just got his ass whooped, but Tyson Fury is no angel either. 
He's been called a cheater. By certain fighters and even ref referee, like uh, there was there was a referee that said he was the dirtiest fighter he ever officiated. <laughs> and then even during the fight, you can see him putting Deontay in a headlock away from where the uh, referee could see him doing it. He always did it on the opposite side of the referee, but you can you can see him basically like roughhousing. Even in that fight. But really, that's just that's just the name of the game. Though. I'm not trying to nitpick every little thing he did in the fight. Because I still just think Deontay got his ass whooped. And when you think about it, Tyson Fury came in a fight way bigger than him. I think he had like 30 pounds on him or something. I feel like that was his strategy from the get-go. There's a side pack. Great. I feel like that was his strategy from the get-go, though. Just I'm going to just bully this guy. I'm going to get big <laughs> and just bully this dude. Of course, I'm going to use whatever tricks of the trade that I know. Because really, it's not unusual for boxers to bend the rules. Elbows, headbutting, all that shit. It's, it's actually fairly normal to bend the rules. You know, just don't bite somebody's ear off. But bending the rules is actually very normal. And it sounds like a lot of things that people are accusing him of that you could t say, well, yeah, he did that. Like the whole glove shit. The headlock, all that stuff. It's actually pretty standard. It ain't like he fucking came in there with, uh, like, it ain't like he did, like, what Antonio Margarito did with the hand wrap shits. Tyson Fury just seems like the type of fighter that likes to bend the rules. I think even Mayweather would do that sometimes, though. Like, like just little things. Like, I heard, like, uh, he would use his, his elbows inappropriately at times. Evander Holyfield was a known headbutter. So, I just feel like stuff like that is just part of the game. Man, I swear, like, one of the most... The funniest things I've seen in boxing, bruh, with somebody like bending, not even bending the rules, just straight up breaking the rules, was um, Felix Trinidad versus Fernando Vargas. I think Felix had knocked v Fernando Vargas down early in the fight. But then Fernando started coming back and he knocked. Felix down and he really hurt him so when Felix got up of course Vargas tried to finish him off so what Felix did was he punched Vargas right in the nuts on purpose like hard like just intentional intentional low blow so that Vargas would have to take uh, about a minute to recover and while he was recovering Felix was recovering so that right there was just genius though because he was still hurt and he needed time to recover so he just he just what do you do just hit just hit him in the fucking balls and while he's recovering you can recover like fuck the point deduction just take that it's better than getting knocked out so it's in the sewers now I hope I find a shotgun real soon, man. I hope I find a shotgun very soon, because I'm going to need it. I'm kind of lost now, though. There's so much going on.
Okay, so yeah, I took a lift up here. If I see a hunter, I'm just, I'm dipping. There's no point trying to fight. Ain't no point trying to argue. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah, I'm already on the second floor. There's no point trying to fuss, argue, just, just dip. I'm glad I finally figured out how to live stream though. It's not perfect because my, my laptop isn't that great. So, so the encoder, it's pretty weak. Oh shit. That was a strategic retreat. Just to reset the room. So the quality of the stream isn't that great, but it's something. It's adequate. I'll say that it's, it's an adequate stream. Oh, shit, he sped up too. Yeah, you can have that. You wanted it that bad, whatever. Damn. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he just, he wanted that badly. Yeah, you can have it. You can get a chunk. Man, I'm really gonna need that shotgun soon, though. I don't have the bow gun. I don't have the grenade launcher, so... Finding any, of, any ammo for those guns aren't gonna do me any good. Ah... So Chris was the one that needed to solve this. I don't know why I tried that. Wait a minute. What are his measurements? Height, 5'9". So he's only one inch taller than me. Weight, 177. But we're about the same weight. I hover around 175. I feel like my masculinity is, is certified now that I'm at 175. <laughs> That's a nice weight for a man. About one, 170, 175, I think that's that's pretty good. Especially if you're pretty muscular with it as well. That's a light heavyweight, so. 175, that's light heavyweight. like. That's some pretty good size. Okay. Please no tricks. Let me just take it. Oh boy. I knew it. It's never that simple, bro. I just, I knew they, I knew they were gonna do something like that, man. They just can't let Resident Evil One go. They just, they just couldn't let it go. What is he looking at? Is that the plate? Well, we did it in Resident Evil One. Oh crap. An unidentified monster came through this. <laughs> well, he's about to be identified, that's for sure. Oh, shit. Wait, how did he not drown? I mean, I know they're the undead, but come on now. I 
I figured even a zombie would need oxygen. Goddamn. Maybe I'm crazy for thinking that, though. Encoding overloaded. Consider turning down. Damn. So this episode might be a little choppy, guys. I apologize. My encoder is overloaded. I don't know why, though. It makes no sense whatsoever. Let's see. It makes no sense. Yeah, I apologize if this is choppy, but we just got to... I don't know why. Like, what the fuck? This is, why is it... Damn. What the fuck, man? <sighs> we'll just work through it. I might have I might have chose the wrong preset though when I started this episode. It's so disappointing too because I bought I bought this laptop for this, the purpose of, of having something more powerful. And it's like, like, damn, like, how much power do you need, dude? <laughs> how much power do you fucking need? I just, I don't get it, man. Oh, I see. That's cool. Let me go ahead and go back down there and grab that other red herb then. Since I'm already here. Well, damn, I do got the shotgun. Now that I'm back in the save room, I can actually enjoy the, the, the fucking achievement. Might as well go ahead and combine these. It's not like I can do anything else with a red herb. Man, I am decked out right now. I might need to go ahead and just start carrying the shotgun ammo. Alright, let's do it. I might not even have to kill those spiders. They're, they're just, they're so fucking slow. Oh shit. Oh god, it was close. <laughs> they haven't really proved themselves to be a threat yet, so. It seems like whenever I go I come in here, my encoder gets overloaded. It must be something with these water effects. That's weird. 
But yeah, my shit just just jumps up dramatically, bro. That's insane. Like the CPU usage goes up by like fucking almost twenty percent. Wait, it's still up now. Shit, fuck yeah, I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason for this bullshit. I think I chose the wrong preset though, because I switched from streaming to recording. It seems to be a control panel for the capsule. Push the switch. Oh, a clip. I'm going to do my best not to use that fucking rifle, bro. A large size capsule. I wonder what was inside. I'm going to do my best not to use that shit. At least not until like towards the end. Okay, I thought maybe I could push that. I wonder if Chris fights the banner snatches. He <laughs> got a fucking doorknob. Hello. Do I get a movie for the hunter? They're probably gonna send in two. To make it challenging. One wouldn't even touch me. I knew it. I swear, Resident Evil can be so predictable sometimes. Of course, they would send in two because they sent they sent one in the first game. So now, of course, we gotta send two. That's just that's just the law the law of video games. I don't want to go in there yet. <laughs> it's video game law. Nope. Okay. So I guess Jill gets the banner snatches while Chris gets the hunters. At least that's what I hope. I don't want to deal with those guys right now. I don't even have a grenade launcher right now. Kind of crazy playing these games now, man. It's games have come so far. It's more and more I begin to realize it's just how primitive these games are now. They're still good games, but it's like wow, we've come a long way. We have come a very long way. 
Make sure I got everything. Okay, so scratch my nose. <laughs> Let me see. So where was the note? I think, I think this is it. It's an odd coincidence that the temperature is exactly the same as the date of completion of this training facility. Huh. Okay. And it says, I hereby one of these notes has to tell me new master. Edition, golden umbrella. Uh, Free duplicate. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I gotta go through all these notes. Report Nope Secretary's Notes Nope Autonomous Notes a demon in my mind. I remember this sick fuck. Okay, so it's not there. Alexander's memo. Okay. Large scale facility. Okay. Nope. Damn. Butler. Mm hmm. Damn. Maybe it's not in the nose. Maybe it's somewhere else. Damn. I was a fool. It's an odd coincidence that the temperature is exactly the same as the date of completion. Dude, this is, I'm stupid. Let's do this. Boom. I have no idea. I don't know. I'll figure it out. 
Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's something else I gotta do first. Cause I really don't know. I'll just be sitting here guessing. Not like I'm above that. I do that a lot too. I will sit here and guess a puzzle. You guys know how I get down. Let's see, what was this? Okay, that's nothing. They might start sending more hunters now. That's usually how it goes. Once you see the first batch. You're pretty much bound to see some more. Can I go through here? Okay. I needed an eagle plate. I might just go ahead and save. Save and call it a day. I'm just, I'm too worried about the encoder <laughs> being overloaded to focus. I should figure that out first. But before doing that, we gotta organize this baby. Okay, so. Go ahead and mix these. Dude, I am doing fantastic. Like, I can't, like, it's no way, bro. <laughs> Look at all this shit. I got health for fucking days, bro. You know, ammo might be limited, but my HP is on. I mean, my health items are on point. I mean, I had to be a damn fool to get killed at this point. I mean, I could still die, but to end up like totally fucked would be pretty much impossible. Unless this game just gets stupid hard now. I am feeling the pressure a little bit. Okay, so yeah, right there. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode, and I will return later with more Resident Evil Code Veronica, so stay tuned. The Gunda.